Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning light on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're going to be learning something called arrays. So in the previous tutorials, we were creating a variable and we were storing the data in that variable. So if you wanted to store one value, then you need to create a variable. Similarly, if you want to store three values, then you need to create three variables. And if that, uh, you know, size increases, then you need to create more and more variables. But, you know, that's not the convenient way of programming. So to solve that kind of problems in C++, we have something called arrays. So this array is nothing but the collection of similar elements. For example, if you guys want to store the marks, and also let's assume that you have to store the marks of six subjects at that time if we were uh, creating the variables like we are doing in the previous tutorials then we need to create six variables to store six subject marks but here we have something called arrays by using this array under one name we can store six values so in other words we can say that our array is nothing but the collection of similar elements which is nothing but in this array we can store similar elements for example integers or the cars but make sure that all the elements that you are storing must be of same type so this array elements or the values which are stored in these arrays will be stored in continuous memory locations and uh, these arrays are going to start from zero or the index of this array start from zero and it will be one less than the size for example if you're storing six elements then the index will start from zero to five okay now we're gonna see you know how to use this arrays in our program now to create an array in our program first we need to type or specify the type of data will be stored in that array or the data type in this tutorial for the demonstration purpose we're going to store the marks which is of type integers and that's why it's going to be int next the name of the array so similar to the variable name here let's say marks and then you guys need to use two square brackets and between these square brackets you need to specify the length of the array or how many elements you want to store in this array so here in this example we want to store the marks of six subjects that's why the length or the size of this array is six and then add a semicolon so here we are declaring an array which is of size six so the next thing is how to store the values in this array to assign the values to the array elements what we can do is we can initialize this array when declaring it to do that we need to use this assignment operator then between these curly braces we need to write the elements for example the marks of six subjects let's say 55 comma 45 comma 75 comma 85 comma 95 and let's say 35 so here the number of elements you write must not be greater than the size specified if it is more than that then the compiler is gonna generate some errors the next thing is how to access the elements of an array to access the elements of an array we need to write the array name which is marks in this case and then the square brackets and between these square brackets we need to write the index i told you before that in arrays the elements are stored from the index zero like that so the first element will be at the index zero the second element will be at the index one third element at the index two similarly the sixth element will be at the index five so here if you guys wanted to access the third element then you guys need to specify the index as two and uh, i'm going to use a cout statement to print out that so it's going to be cout and marks of index which is two i'm going to save this build and run this so you guys can see 75 which is the third element present in the second index and uh, the next thing is instead of initializing the array here so what we can do is we can initialize them separately you know after the declaration here marks 
and then the square brackets then the index 0 then the value let's say 55 and similarly marks 1 45 like that and here also same thing 1 save it build and run it you can you know 45 and the next thing is now if you want to assign or initialize the array when declaring it then this equal to symbol or this assignment operator is not necessary so you guys can directly write like this and this one is also valid I'm gonna save it build and run this so 55 you guys can see the second element and the next thing is if you are initializing the array when declaring it then specifying this size is not necessary so we can leave it as it is so we can leave it so when we do like this the number of element we specify here will be the size of this array and which will be automatically computed by the compiler so i'm gonna save it build and run this you know 55 Alright guys, this is it. This is about the introduction to the arrays. Arrays are nothing but the collection of similar elements and these arrays are going to help us to store the similar values under one name. So thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next tutorial.